What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Get your top hats and your monocles and your bow ties out, your cocktail dresses while you're at it. Because we're getting fancy tonight. We're making walnut mushroom pate. Perfect for any fancy party. Your Christmas party, New Year's Eve party, your Hanukkah party, whatever you want to bring into it. It's kind of fancy. So that's what pate is. Now if a mushroom pate just doesn't sound super appealing to you, Stick around, you might like it. As always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a package, 16 ounce, four pound, of baby bella mushrooms, also known as cremini. We're gonna give these a little, little wipe down, get some of that dirt off. Now we're gonna lightly toast our walnuts because that's what the recipe calls for. So we're gonna take these walnuts, throw them in this pan, and we're going to put it on a low to medium heat. Keep an eye on because you don't want them to burn. Lightly toasted. All right, while that is lightly toasting, let's go ahead and peel our garlic. It actually doesn't say anything about dicing it or mincing it or anything, so we are just going to throw it in the pan. We're going to blend all this up anyway in a food processor, so don't worry. Give these another whack. Don't smell it yet, so we're not there. All right, grab an onion, yellow. You need a cup, or you know, a small to medium onion will do. Let's turn the heat up a little bit. All right, let's start on our mushrooms. So we're gonna chop off any of the like super woody stems. And we're just gonna chop these like so. I'm trying, I'm trying to be creative with cutting these and it's not working. Oh well. Doesn't really matter, just chop them up. All right, I think these are toasted. We're gonna throw them in our food processor. And then we're going to take two tablespoons of our olive oil, put it back in our skillet. Then we're gonna start sauteing our onions. And we're gonna saute this for about three to five minutes until it's translucent. All right, we are getting nice and translucent. Now we're gonna add our garlic. Try to get it in the pan and our dried thyme, tarragon, salt, and pepper. And we're gonna cook this for another minute. Now comes time for the mushrooms. And we're gonna cook this for about seven to 10 minutes. While the mushrooms are cooking, let's go ahead and process those walnuts. Now you wanna process this until it's really fine. So the goal is to get these mushrooms really soft and they're almost there. And we have one more thing to prep. All you need is a three quarter cup amount of cannellini beans cooked. Okay, we are about done with our mushrooms. All right, we're gonna throw our mushroom mixture right in our food processor. Along with that, you're gonna add your balsamic vinegar, your remaining olive oil, which is a tablespoon, and your cannellini beans. And process until smooth. Now they said you could add up to a quarter cup of cold vegetable broth because you want a consistency that's nice and, and creamy and thick, you know, like a pate should be. But only add a tablespoon at a time. Don't overdo it. All right, I think we're, I think we're perfect. So I'm gonna take this. Is Really oily. I mean, if it doesn't look like cat food, you're not doing it right. We're gonna stick this in an airtight container and throw it in your fridge for one hour. Yeah, sorry, you can't eat this for another hour because all the flavors have to meld and they have to do their thing. Just let it happen. Fun fact, not only are walnuts great sources of tons of vitamins and minerals and omega-3 fatty acids, Walnuts are also the oldest known tree food, dating back to 10,000 BC. The Greeks called walnuts carrion, which means head, because of the shell that resembles a human skull. And inside the kernel looks like brains. With our one hour mark approaching, Let's go ahead and prep our bread or your crackers. Pick one. 
I'm choosing a nice crusty bread. You can use crackers if you want. All right, well that didn't take as long as I thought I was going to, so let's sit here and drink our wine. Time is up. All right, let's try it. I have to say, as far as pâtés go, this looks the part. They have never looked appetizing to me. It's a nice, savory dip. I have to say, pâtés have always weirded me out. Blended up meat or whatever else is in a like a traditional pate has never looked appetizing so it throws me off because it's so much like it it tastes good it tastes good I think this would be perfect for a fancy dinner party you know what have you probably the colder the better too I imagine but good flavors it's slightly salty you can get the hints of the thyme overall it's a great vegan pate you're not gonna do much better than this unless you make the other pate that I've made previously I think it's a great pate. If you do tend to like pates, try this. I can almost guarantee you'll like it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to hit subscribe and share and comment and like and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time. Do you want water? Because you're not allowed in the kitchen otherwise. Right now. You have a 10 second window, you better get in there.